Hello and welcome to the MP Tech Group. Back up in what I'm calling the Nerve Center, Chris Compton's area, kind of our customer support slash engineering area. Uh, talking about a couple of software products today and one of them that we really want to uh, focus in on is Sodi Connect. And let's talk about Sodi. Sodi is our MDM, mobile device management software tool that we, we sell to a lot of our customers. Uh, we picked it because it's, it's affordable, it's, it's really good, it supports all the Zebra devices. But over the years, uh, and that's Mobi Control, but Mobi Control's for mobile computers, and Sodi hasn't really supported Zebra printers until just recently. And let's talk about that. Sodi was um, uh, supporting Sados and Honeywells and a lot of other printers, but not really Zebra because Zebra had some special things that they hadn't cracked yet. So about a year ago, Sodi came out and said, hey, we got great news, we're supporting Zebra printers. And we went fantastic, and they said, but, only the very latest ones, the ones that are brand new, anything that's older than that, we're not yet supporting. And so it was kind of a wah, wah, wah. We weren't very happy about that because the number of customers who have all brand new latest printers is very rare. Most customers have a fleet of printers of varying ages. Uh, so recently now, Sodi has, has come out with support for the whole Zebra product line as long as it runs Link OS. And Link OS has been out for seven or eight years now. It's been out for a while. Ten. You got 10. But there are some older XI printers yeah. that don't run it. Of course. Uh, so, the, you know, that might be a concern. But really, most printers for the last 10 years are now yeah. supported by this software. And customers come to us and say, gosh, I'm using Mobi Control to, to update the OS and update applications and to keep tabs on all of my mobile computers yep. and where they are and what they're doing, helping operators and all of that but what about my printers i can't do that and there were software tools out there to do that zebra had one uh but it was for zebra printers only it was on prem it wasn't you know so now i got two things that i'm using to manage devices now sodi connect all the zebra printers in the last 10 years asterisk almost yeah. all of them and let you do a lot of cool tracking so you're kind of you've been working with this product a lot here lately chris Show us what it does and how it works. Yeah, so as you'll see, we have one printer in here right this second. This is a ZT600, which is a newer printer. Um, the way it works is that it's using MQTT, which is essentially a new standard for communication, broadcasting, and protocols. Um, and that is what why it worked with the newer printers in the first place. The older printers only have SMTP communication. So... Current, before the older Zebra printers. The older Zebra right. printers. So they didn't have that implemented into Connect originally, but they did add it. Okay. So now it will work with both printers. And to be honest with you, this is a far better product than what they had before anyways. Um, the product before would only let you kind of send files down to the printer and see whether a printer was offline or online. But as far as like fully managing the printer, changing any setting on the printer, you couldn't really do. Okay. And this has completely changed. So... Um, if you've ever seen Moby Control um, or in one of our other videos that we've done, you'll notice right away it looks identical to Moby Control, which is great for anyone using Moby Control because they're not going to be confused by the way the design is. You have to interface. relearn it all from scratch. And relearn the right. whole interface. So the same thing, this is fully customizable. So every user can change how they want to see these devices. Uh, and obviously you can drop devices based on your facility or wherever you want them. But the important thing is, right, is I can see a device um, and if I check mark it, I can you know edit it, rename it, unenroll it. I can move it to another facility. Um, you could also have it auto move facilities based on IP address subnet. Okay. So if you actually did move printers between your facilities, Let, let's lay the groundwork. I've got three facilities. I've got two hundred label printers in them. That's kind of the order of magnitude yep. of what people are going to use this tool yep. to manage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's say that you do have two hundred printers, and let's say your label stock changes for some reason. So back in the day, you would have to either um, possibly change, you know, your label formats or designs or something to that effect. Uh, if you went from gap to mark or something like that, uh, let's say you don't really want to do that. You would just want to change the printer. Well, you can actually come in here and change one command on the printer or send down a file to all printers, all 200 printers at one time and edit them at one single point. So I can manage any setting in the printer. Not only that, the biggest thing that is really, really cool about this software is let's say you buy a new printer 
and you have a printer that's been working for six months, but you buy this new printer and all of a sudden it's having all kinds of problems. If you put it in here, I can actually select two printers and do a compare. So mm -hmm. I can literally compare the devices. It will compare exactly what the device what settings, settings are. up on this new Exact printer. settings. Yeah. And it will highlight any that are different. Nice. So that's a super nice uh, setting. Actually, we've already used that at some of our customers that um, are looking at buying this or okay. have it. Great. So as you can see, every single setting on the printer, you can see. Uh, you can favorite. You can see firmware. You can see anything that you would think. IP address, subnet. Um, you can search anything. So if I search IP, I come right here. Oh, nice. Anything that you want to search is findable on the printer. So darkness, 44%. Right Got it. So one of our the complaints our customers have had that I've heard over the years is, hey, if that printer, if I want to know what's going on with it, I want to know if it's got a problem, I want to know yep. anything about it, I got to walk up to it and I got to look at this little display and then I got to scroll through all these buttons to try to find all this out. Yeah. And that, that can be really cumbersome. Yeah. With this, all, all out of view right here. Yeah, it's all in here. So if I opened up the print head downstairs and put it in an air state, it's going to show actually where this alert is. It's going to give us alerts. Okay. So it's going to tell us media out. Or and this is one of our like printers it. downstairs that we use to print labels here. So. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Okay. So um, another thing that I want to highlight here is, gosh, I got 20 printers downstairs and one of them just had a problem, right? Mm -hmm. One of them kicked offline. One had a media error. One had something. This can tell. This can send you alerts at some level, right? Yeah, you can set it to any type of state or performance of the printer if you want an alert to react. So if the printer said went into media out, you could say email this person in the email facility. maintenance and yes. let them know. Yeah, that know. somebody's having a problem and yep. proactively go down there and help it. Yeah, you can actually even move it, um, which is ironic. You can tell it that move it to a different folder that disables the printer. So in theory, you could do several different okay, actions. Okay, nice. Okay, print head life. Yep. Big, big thing. So you can tell it, hey, tell me when a print head hits a certain lifespan or tell me if there's an element out or things like that. Yeah, so if you have the element turned on, right, that's going to be a warning. So you're going to get those warnings in the background. Turn it on in the printer. So if yes. you turn that warning on in the printer, then it, it will, will show up here. It will. And then uh, length is uh, on here to where you can see, oh, there we go, total media link. Okay. So we can see the full amount of link. Nice. Like because what's a hot button for a customer trying to print thousands of labels a day? Yeah. Number one, downtime. The thing is down, my line is down, people are standing around, that's a problem. Number two is I'm printing bad barcodes and my customer is going to start finding me. Yeah. So this will really help uh, stop that. It's not barcode verification, but if you got an element out, no. that's the most likely cause of, of, a, of a bad barcode. Correct. But I will say on the Honeywell uh, printer, they were implementing the verifier warnings. Okay. So if you had the Honeywell with the verifier built in, then it could actually see got those. It. Got it, got it, cool. Well, hey, another tool in our tool bag. Uh, it, it's a great example. We, we tell our vendors all the time, we tell our customers this, the vendor had to sell us first. We had to believe in this product before we take it. And this product's been out there for a year. We have not been promoting it until now. It's ready for prime time. Almost all of our customers could use this. We have lots and lots of customers who have been asking for this, who can really benefit from this ability to monitor my fleet of printers and know when there's a problem. Yeah. Uh, so that's a great thing. Thanks as always. Uh, EMPTechGroup.com, best place to reach us. Thank you.